There's been a lot of shenanigans within the past five weeks here on the Thursday Night Wars. We got the host accepting defeat. We got Brandon Moore no, accepting no. defeat. No, no, Wait, is that Prince Charming? Defeat, Charlie. That's right. The champs are oh, in great. town. You're More entering. Bell. That's right. Come at the frog. You know, we can make frog oh, legs yeah. out of you, son. Look at this real world champion here. Okay, Rick Flair. Okay, Rick Flair. I'm the real world champion. I'm the intercontinental champion. I'm the real world champion. I'm the intercontinental champion. I'm the real world 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 champion. I'm the real has been throwing some strikes this inning. And that hits him. The barrel of the bat comes. Ah, rah, rah, rah. They're attacking us. They're attacking us. It is now time to give my review of the first month of the Thursday Night Wars. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, David Thousand here. Welcome back to the David Thousand Network. And it's now time for my one month review of Thursday Night Wars competition. Now, I'm going to say this here and I'm going to go straight to the point. It's been a lot of crazy shenanigans over the past month here in April. And it's finally May. Warm weather coming soon, which I am very happy about. I'm going to go back to in person school and I'm very happy where I'm at right now. I'm going to give you all my results of the Alex for April 2021. For week 1, April 1st, 2021, the Hand Me Out Cast episode 4 has 290 views, 13 likes, and 4 dislikes. Mario Podcast episode 77 has 28 views, 15 likes, and 0 dislikes. Week number 2 from April 8, 2021, the Hand Me Out Cast episode 41, 258 views, 18 likes, and 4 dislikes. Ray Podcast episode 78 has 179 views, 10 likes, and 0 dislikes. For week number 3, April 15th, the Hammy Outcast episode 42, which is kind of funny because Jackie Robinson Day is on April 15th, and Hammy Outcast episode 42 that's Jackie Robinson's number. It has 427 views, and number likes, and 3 dislikes. Ray Podcast episode 79, 148 views, 8 likes, and 0 dislikes. Week number 4, the Hammy Outcast episode 43, 25 views, 11 likes, and what this say? Week number podcast episode 80, which they had the Flex Network, but that didn't work out. I'm Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns at the head of the table. I was gonna tell you this when Zach was on, but Charlie was ribbing you over there, having the word sold out over your screen. You know, <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's you know what? I could give a less about that, but who cares? But either way, <laughs> we're gonna stay positive the best we can. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> It has 122 views, 13 likes, and what to say? For week number 5, from April 29, 2021, it has Sammy Outcast episode 44, 192 views, 9 likes, and 2 dislikes. And for episode 81 of the Rain Podcast, 137 views, 9 likes, and 4 dislikes. And now, I'm going to give you guys the total analysis. For the views, Sammy Outcast has a crazy amount, 1,392 views, Ray Podcast 794 views. 
for the likes. Happy Outcast, 62 likes. And for Red Podcast, 5 likes. As for the dislikes, the Hemi Outcast, 14 dislikes. Red Podcast, 5 dislikes. I'm gonna go and give out my thoughts on the first month. Well, I'm gonna give my flashback here. The first week, it had was and again, it was kind of like almost the April Fool's joke, but it was still happening for the next few months. On episode 40, on the Hemi Outcast, and you know, I made my debut with the Devil of Parody at the beginning, and then, which was super funny. And then, you know, we had a little crossover thing where Charlie was on the stream, I was on the stream for rent, on Renting Rave's side, and Tom was on Renting Rave, uh, Tom made a little choke at the beginning on Renting Rave, and then, uh, Nair Wong, Brandon, uh, the two, the, and then Michael came on among with Eric, and we were just, uh, smash talking, and it was a bloodbath there. And then, week number two came, we had a, a guest on the show, and, uh, also we made, we had a lot of familiar phrases come back on the episode, uh, especially Nihart, Nihart came back, and we had some other new people came on the show as well, that actually was a good episode right there. And as for episode 78 of the Ray podcast, uh, Brian Martin had to take that week off, uh, and same for that following week as well because of work and they were doing their traveling because Jordan had to step out and they had Tricky and Leon on there and of course Andrew there to help out Eric was as well which I thought was nice if I do to do that and as for week number three on Hemi Outcast episode 42 we had uh, some good conversations here on so a lot of good moments we had um What's that person's name? We had uh, Eric Brown on the show making his debut, which I actually really liked his appearance. And I happened to see David Wells on there making his return, I believe. And uh, just like seeing you know, people making their debuts, and we had some good talks on the episode. And of course, uh, Eric came on and Michael then on the show. And during their thing again, Smash Talking. And all that stuff. And as for uh, right, right, uh, for week number three, they had a little trial run once again, which was uh, Brenda, uh, which was um, Brenda Beauregard. No, I thought he did this scene as well. Not too, too much special happened on that episode, but um, Brenda being on there, I think that was good. And as for episode 43, uh, this is kind of funny, uh, we had, you know, Tom, um, you know, doing the little, uh, OBS ritual thing with Sarah screening and all that funny stuff, and also this episode, uh, a lot of snakes happened, I'm just gonna say that for the final record, uh, that was actually kind of funny, and a lot of crazy stuff happened, but it turned out to be a great episode. And at the end of the show, actually, uh, Chorn later on came in the show, and you know we talked there at the end, uh, asking if Chorn wants to come back to Renting Rave because Renting Rave need help, and he said yes. And he said on the air that he'll come back on May six. But however, we have to put it next week. Because of the rain West and coming this week that we didn't want to oversell it. And as for episode 80, which was the Flex Network Presents Renting Rare Podcast. And as for the Renting Rare Podcast episode 80, they had only Brandon, Eric, and Neon on there, which I rather had Michael, just my opinion. But, um, you know, they did that. And it was a little one time thing to Flex Network Presents, which. I honestly think the Flex Network didn't really do much to support the views, so, uh, and plus they didn't, I mean, you know, but, uh, that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. And of course, the Hemi Outcast episode 44, it was the debate between me and Mr. Houston, 
not ready to debate, but a quiz debate, and let's just say I tried to make a comeback, but unfortunately, Mr. Houston won it at the end. Um, now people are gonna say, "Oh, I, oh, Mr. Houston embarrassed me. Oh, I choked. Oh, no." Here's the thing, though. I didn't expect what questions were coming. Even Mr. Houston didn't know what was coming. So, which I didn't expect that from the beginning. So, I don't know what some of the questions was going to be, but I didn't know it would be all of it. So, and I didn't, and I wasn't really 100% prepared for this. But of course, it was multiple choice. But, I don't really, I don't really, uh, count that as an actual debate, of course. But, I'll give Mr. Houston credit, but I didn't embarrass myself. Reason why, because at least I got some points, and at least I didn't get swept, and at least I made somewhat a comeback until the last question. So, and of course there were some mistakes here and there in the quiz debate as well. Yeah, but it was still fun, and I put my co-hosting position on the line, and after Thursday Night Wars, I will no longer be the co-host of the Hand Me Out cast. Now, I'm somewhat, you know, disappointed that I have it, but at the same time, I'm fine with it, you know, but not as I'm still a part of the, of the uh, Hand Me Out cast team, uh, you know, for me to give out ideas and of course have my role in this, that, doing the promotion for them, I think, um, that would be still good and I'll definitely, uh, be, or try to be on the mail cast as much as possible. And, uh, of course I'll do my own thing. And, uh, and for three months, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, who knows, maybe the next month, you know, after I come back from my rave, if I'm still available to do it, the co-host to position, before Chorn gets the co-host trial run. I think, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. And of course, um, we have the, uh, Randy West interview. Uh, that is coming up on my rave. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, talking about uh, my pillow and the uh, his nostrils. Two tonight. Look out! Here it comes. That's just what he did, and he got a swing and a miss from Correa to get out of the inning. All right. Hello, everybody. Walk like this. You're guilty. What? <laughs> Mike Lindell will I be here it. with us, and. I made it. I made it. By the way, Look, it's a take. It's not a shirt. It says who farted. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about TV, and I am super excited for the Money West that we coming tomorrow. And there's been some also other news as for Andrew because Andrew was on the uh, Red Moon Rave for the Thursday Night Wars, or at least for some of it, and. Uh, his show, the Andrew Hawkins show, um, is dead. It's not happening anymore. If I were Andrew, I would have done something like not R and R related. Because if we're gonna do something that's R and R related, I understand why this the same topics I used to do in Rent and Rate, but my advice, Andrew, is do something that is your personality. In return, um, you're gonna be uh, having a platform on Tim McDowell's hangouts, which I think is going to be good. I think it's going to be good, you know, having uh, Andrew, uh, along with Brent Martin, and Charlie, and Denny, and also our EP page be off the Tim McDowell's hangouts team. And, and also, there's other shows going around as well. There's, um, there, of course, there's one. There's, uh, of course, both of us on the sofas, uh, which... You know, I'll give a lot of credit to them for what they're doing. Episode 155. Yeah, that was a great episode right there. Um, uh, Lock It In. 
but unfortunately that's not really happening right now. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, and then also of course, uh, there's there's the Bomb Five, which I will still be part of. You know, um, I will still be having my code specific for that. Which for Saturday nights, I am great for that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to be on the Bomb Five. And, um, with the Dungeons and Wars, I honestly think they need to step it up and, uh, make some changes to the, to, uh, as to the format, uh, this goes for Ranking Rave. Uh, now, it's still Resident Soul, but they need to have a more change as for their format. And what I mean by that is, you know, they say, oh, this is our first topic, what's the next topic? That's kind of overkill. I've seen torn on these chill streams, you know, talking about wrestling from the 2000s. And having these good discussions about wrestling. And I'm just like, why would those see that on Ranking Rave? That's something everybody on the Ranking Rave crew should do. From my honest experience, I think... Having discussions instead of topics is actually good for those type of shows. And I think that format, I, th I think it will definitely help out Rank and Rave. And also have something exciting for every episode. Have something exciting. You have interviews coming up for the next three weeks. And also having Jimmy C. Jim, Jim and C. the Jet or Poor Missy the Jet. Coming back next week. I mean, that's some some that's something good, you know. Having those uh, exciting stuff happening for the next couple of weeks, and hopefully it will help. Just when you do your promotion, make sure you have, add those details. And also, you should I don't know, maybe put it right in right on another website and start on a YouTube channel or something. Just something that would get double the views, triple the views, you know, get sponsors, get whatever you can to make it new and approved. And, um, and also maybe get some new equipment. Um, no, I'm talk. I'm not talking expensive, but I meant like, you know, basic new equipment, better audio and all that stuff. And also, I've seen on your uh, Apple Podcast thing, you still need to end, uh, update the information because it still says me, Brent, uh, Andrew, and Corin on it. You should definitely update it to uh, Eric, Michael, Brent, Jordan. Now, as for the trial one, I think maybe Mr. Martin made some couple of mistakes, but with the trial one going out, going... Well, Brendan was at work. I think it was good timing, to be honest. As Brendan was away at work, just my my point of view. Um, but honestly, with the Thursday Night Wars, I really think you should uh, make some little changes, have something exciting every week, and I think you will be just good. So. And, uh, what side I am on, Ryan Wade or The Outcast? Boy. I mean, I'm still part of the Hemi Outcast family, as for the main positions, but I honestly have to say, Right and Rave. And the reason why I say that is because. I want this Thursday Night Wars to be exciting. And of course I'll still be always still be with the damn outcast Remy. Don't get me wrong, I wanna win over there. But I'm rooting for Rank and Rape at the same time. I want them to get that champion. And if you have any ideas feel free to uh, DM me, you know I am admin on the group and um you know just you know, make some changes to the format, and I think it would be good. Get viewers interested, have 
feeling involvement and I think you'll be successful and I know it's been a little bit rocky recently and I think you know also I don't recommend you doing the top you know video game this thing sales that's kind of a little bit boring in my opinion especially for this type of podcast and um I think you should have a change to that and actually have good discussions and heck maybe wrestling news you know so but I think that is gonna end for this uh review of the first month of the Disney Wars hype um I know a little, bit, a little bit too long, but this is basically a little vlog video, so if I was doing any other hype video, I would have make, made it like one minute. I mean, I, I know there's been 60 minutes, but I meant like under 10 minutes at the most. No. And, uh, so, that's gonna end uh, for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. And, uh, of course, I'll be going right rate this Thursday for the Random West interview, so stay tuned for that. I'll make a special hype video for that tomorrow. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. Now, excuse me, I gotta go watch an exciting baseball game that's gonna be happening. And until then, see you all later.